Good morning, welcome to Hey, good morning, Paul. How's it going over there? I'm good. Okay. I'm good too, and I'm excited to get into another edition of Love and Daily. And before we get into it, here are your headlines for today. Four people to be charged over the death of Miriam Potch. Maltese TV host pledges to welcome migrant family into his home. A new study finds that nearly half of the Maltese are feeling depressed. Education minister donates salary to buy computers for students in need and lobby group calls for the right to grow cannabis privately. Big stories today, Paula, big stories today. It's been a while since we had um, different stories, specifically COVID. That's Sharon of Silo, Fitnain, Tamar Suma, Ahmed Mahsouda, Bill Meusta, Miriam Patch, and Darta Ham and Habba, Sita Prostitution, Likin, Dane Darta Ham. Illum, because it's Minji Matwara, and the Polizia, Alu, the TVM, the Linkesta Magisteriali, Alet, O Yeder, Illi. Magistrate Sabet Bizet, evidence Sabisha Samilin as Erba Persuni, and we had Milakuni, the report that team voluntario, we had Sayara, Minuma, the Erba Persuni, and the possibility that Tine, Nohara, Unara, Shister, Yitres, Ula, Darba Terget, and Feta Hain Orti, and Palisaya Sospisa, and Habal Covid, Unara, Tip Dark Compilation, it's evidence and make with him, Il Magistrate, Likona Senyat, Il Kas. Flaha did not know what lay of the cast of Johnny so quit a color shop by Covid and math in the So, as you said, this was a massive incident that rocked Malta about a month and a half ago. I mean, you know, we were shocked, and, and it's kind of sad to see how fast the story kind of went away. But I'm so happy to see that there was development on this. Four people arrested to be charged, as you said yourself, on charges including involuntary homicide. Now, the question is. Will this actually lead us to looking at a proper solution for the construction industry and safety in Malta? Hopefully, this will get us to the root of the problem. Anche qua c'è un riformante per la perita, per la contrattura, ta felisma. Ya ftasa dal ponte di tressa e orti artil un volontario di stai wasar al pena ta haps giuvini. La responsabilità i emet i areali u repercussioni li tuma reali. Ehm nistenna wana raw jiri jiri al tajja tiftah al orti ashem hafna kazid pendenti li tistenna u bi xarra u xarra. That's exactly it. And talking about opening up, um, yesterday a massive story and a lot of a bit of controversy actually. Um, one of Malta's most popular television hosts, uh, Pepe uh, Atsopardi of Sharabank, pledged to welcome a migrant family into his home. Um, and obviously, this comes amid a massive controversy as ships are coming from North Africa to Europe to Malta and finding ports closed. Ports from Spain, Italy, and Malta have been deemed unsafe because of the coronavirus outbreak. And now ships are being stranded at sea. And now Pepe Party, who's always been a vocal supporter of the vulnerable, has put his money where his mouth is and said that he's ready to welcome a migrant family into his home and urged anyone who has the cap capacity to do it to do the same. What do you, what do you make of this, Paula? Big words. <laughs> Yinna Mira, il fat, il pepiazzo, pardi, o rain, il etkelmo, marai, l'estil, au, li migranti, li jayi, manafu, mai manafu, am shminadam, em, jodaro. Pero, di miesh, soluzioni, e giuri, yek et nazbu, illi, ash, umunis, pal pepiazzo, pardi, o erbohera, li edinjofru, dar tachom, Bis dal emigranti mai pauf, bis se mai il mas, fortunatamente mi è soluzione sostenibile. In dinia dei ali è et con. E ma dic mi c'è realtà, il fatto è che mi nao, però ne condanna il culmin offenda il peppio culmin offra d'artiao. O il clima tagli, rudda, fasci, giuri, e come ta bis mi ama, ta bis mi ama, ma la bis mi ama, ma mandi xal fei. على الكل ما عنده بني دم شيء نحس نسوي متشبه لذات هذا شيء نكتر منك. يقول الناس كنا ربيع تعيش البيرة هو قال ليو لات البرد التأخير اسمه ما هم مش هنسلو بدل كويستيون يسول بوا بينيتكم. فرص الربيع للناس عندهم لين اليونية الأوروبية بحالسة سبق وقف بيا سوبر بالتايمينج. إما سفرتنا دائما دي مش دي مش 
دي مش رياضة عليا سوستينبلي في الوقت اللي نرينغراتسياو المنيشتي يوفري الدار تياو على الجنية قوستيوني ومانيتاريا سيريا ام ايا ما 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 نحسبوش اللي دنيا سوروسيوني بالسا عنا اوبن سنتر اللي ايا تحت لوك داون لابن موت البيرة حرج ستوريا ام فين اهدا ولي ميجرانتيا دنيا ايدو اللي موميشة تيش شوف سيتواسيوني ام فوامدا او في همات تجداو بالمالو ايم فوست زاي السا ايرك تيجا بدل بروبليم ازيستنتي ما كينش ام روك تايل بواحدة من من الخوتيل زيو من واتفر اللي قالو اسما ايو عنا بيش تقولو دا شيف تار كوندي يب سيتواسيون الريالي ما كينش ام روح اللي يوفرت لانونا عصي قوانا سيتواسيون يبوتيتيكا انجي في ريا نكونو دا شيف ريالي الحي يا كيفرا قال اسا سيتواسيون يا كيفرا ونا راو الفاتي كيف ينو اش تحسيف نحسيف ما ريش نعطا قلب كل حات تما امين امين اوبيسلي it's not a solution, neither long-term nor short-term, for every Maltese household to allow a migrant family into their home. It's not a solution, but it is a great show of solidarity. It does show that the Maltese people, at least some part of the Maltese people, still has a heart and is listening to the cries and concerns of these migrants. I mean, just, just this week, we published a recording of, of a mother, on a, a migrant mother on a boat here who, sent a, a shocking recording as she was sinking in the Mediterranean Sea. I mean, um, and what's really interesting to go back to what you were saying is um, this came about just as multi celebrities, I think even some priests got involved in the hashtag, don't let them drown. This hashtag was being spread around um, Facebook and other social media. So you had people half or a, a segment of multi society really showing their support and solidarity. And the other half just saying, listen, do not come to Malta. Do not enter here. We will send you back. Um, and as you said yourself, there were some really cruel words said in regards to Pepe and other activists who were um, in support of migrants. So it's not الدنيا مش زي علي وهات لو ورثي سالفا اتي سالفا جيلدو قبل سالفا هاتي وجي في النفس مول كل حد كل حد عنده فينياني اما تبداوش تتايو وتفندو شو شي من طمها. That's exactly it. And on that topic, the new study actually. I'm not to update for the Kazit, the Birah, the Brudisa Kazit, the Jota Persuni, the Leandro, the Covid 19, the Kolos, the Anat, the Tmiya, the Sa, and the Latin. Kaz, the Brudisa Kazit. No, I mean, that's really awesome. I mean, we have to really remember that there is a recovery rate going on. Um, don't just focus on the new case numbers every day. Focus as well on the recovery rate, 100%. Mela, um, on to our next story, it's COVID-related, but it's a reality. A study the Amrit Richmond Foundation, Yuri, the Nofs, the population of Matia, is depressed, and it's part of the depression, the majority of the people, especially in the community, in the people who are depressed, 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 who are Punt um, interessant min dar studio John Ken illi um, fil waqt li popolazzjoni in ġenerali wieħed minn kull 100 persuna jaħseb fi suicidi jew fi self harm ħin kollu dira ta' tikber ġiviri għalmin u wiżar min għandu bejn 16 u 24 sena ira ta' tikber għal tlieta minn kull 100 ġuvni um, jew um, tfajla jaħsbu fi suicidi jew ħin kollu f'dan iż-żminijiet. It's, it's a really shocking study, but I think it's really important that we did this study. I mean, this study was conducted by Richmond Foundation and the CEO of the Richmond Foundation, Stefania de Mexant, said that the mental health impact of the pandemic will last longer than the physical health impact. 47% um, is not a joke number. That's nearly half of the Maltese mm -hmm. population saying they feel depressed during this time, most of the time during this crisis. Mm -hmm. And as you said, there are some other shocking statistics, you know, a rise in people thinking about suicide, that's never a good look. Um, so I'm happy to see that the study was conducted to bring these numbers to light. And later on today at 11 p.m., um, Health mm -hmm. Minister Chris Farn will be appearing on... Mm -hmm. 
uh, will be will be appearing on <laughs> COVID calls on Love and Mortis Facebook um, live show, and hopefully he will be addressing this topic of mental health in the time of COVID. Um, very important topic. <laughs> Psicologici jiġu kola għal xwieħed hemm min kwiet ta' fuq l-aspett finanzjarju li ħajja mhux ħas jiġi kif inhi. U kif qed nitkellmu fuq l-aspett finanzjarju, il-bira tħabbret inizjattiva fejn il-familji, l-istudenti li m'għandhomx aċċess għal-laptop jew computer, id-dar se jkunu qegħdin jingħataw laptop jew computer mislufa mil-librerji tal-SKL, eċetera. Il-Ministru għall-edukazzjoni jew imbonniċi qal li se jagħti xahar paga biex jkunu jistgħu jinxtraw iktar laptops u computers għal dawn il-studenti. Hija realtà li min jixtieq ikompli studji alla volja forsi m'għandux u jew fammentu l-mezzi finanzjarji qed isibu ħer del ħafna ikbar minn normali l-ewwel ġurnata. That's exactly it. I mean, I think it's a great show of solidarity from the um, education minister on Bonici to, to give up a month's salary um, in, for this cause. As you said, there are the reality is there are students who might have used the library computer or school computer to do their assignments. All of a sudden, they're at home. They don't have access to a desktop or a laptop. And I'm happy to see that Malta's education system, MCAS and so forth, are stepping up and offering uh, support. So this should be affecting about 250 students. Um, and uh, not only will they be giving laptops and desktops on loan, but some students will also be provided with free internet access if they don't even have internet at home, which is an investment of about 40,000 euros. So awesome to see that at the time when students are a bit uncertain, they're not sure what's happening with their exams, they're not sure what's happening with their lessons, to see that at least a bit of support from the government side is coming. I mean, and if we invest in our students today, they, they will give back to the to society tomorrow. It's the best investment. Uh, yeah. 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 The hard story of the day, John. So um, uh, another interesting story, and this could be a story that affects tens of thousands of people in Malta. Um, Relief, a Maltese cannabis lobby group, has called for the right to grow cannabis at home in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. They've argued that because of a lack of importation into Malta, the supply of cannabis on the island will begin to dwindle, prices are going to go up, and quality is going to go down, and who's going to suffer? Maltese people, Maltese cannabis um, consumers. So they've proposed the right to grow cannabis at home in a limited and controlled way, and um, uh, I'm happy to see that there might actually be some movement from the government on this. Um, Minister for Reforms, Rosian Kotaya, should be giving an update on this very, very soon. And in fact, next Monday, she will be appearing on Love and Mota's COVID calls as well to speak about this issue. Um, so obviously, this is a bit of a story that might not be in the limelight. It might not be something that is spoken about on the daily news. But this is something that is affecting tens of thousands of Maltese people. Um, and at the end of the day, having to buy products from the black market is neither financially or physically sustainable. Jibni naħseb, John, il-gvern dan il-gvern wijet li jistari kun ajdrasu il-marijuana for recreation l-jus, jistari kun il-li dis-situazzjoni għal kolla taġġel il-proċess għal iħx ija reħta kif etnajt inti tens of thousands of people ġir mux kwestjoni il-li tit mijiet Hemm bżonn illi jekk kellna ċertu pass, il-Gvern jgħaġġel il-pass jekk kellu jieħu deċiżjoni plok joħodha l-baċur oħra joħodha issa, biex nipprevjenu li jkun hemm min ibieħ affarijiet sintetiċi li dawk imbagħad jikkawżaw ħsara kbira lil min hemm biżonn. Jiġifieri looking forward to COVID calls ta' Rozjen għaliex naf li taħdem ħafna fuqha di riforma wkoll. That's exactly it. Um, I think that brings us to the end of today's episode of Love and Daily. From myself and my co-host Paula, have a day full of love. Bye.